Oh my goodness, I feel like it's been so long. <laughs> Hello, hello, and welcome back to my channel. I'm pretty sure I say this in every video that I've posted over the last few years, but it's been a while. In just about two months, I am headed to Arizona to celebrate my girl's bachelorette. Uh, she's getting married in August, and I'm also a part of putting on her wedding. I'm going to be her day of coordinator and I'm so, so excited. And we just officially booked my flight and I paid for the Airbnb. And I'm really, really excited to be going on this trip with the most fun group of girls. I think it's going to be amazing. But I have been struggling so much over probably the last year with my confidence and my weight and honestly one of the main reasons that I have not been posting videos is just because my confidence has been absolutely shot I go and I'm like oh I'm gonna film and I'll film a video and then I go to edit and I'm like I don't even want to look at myself on camera and I want to go into this trip feeling the absolute best about myself because I don't want to be in a position where all the girls are having fun and we're in our bikinis and I feel uncomfortable. I feel like I have to put on the oversized t-shirt or I need to sit up straighter so that my stomach isn't like sticking out. Um, which has everything to do with myself and not with the people I'm going with but I just I I'm ready to live my life I'm ready to stop making excuses for the negative habits that I've formed in my stage of life where I was just coping you know um, I'm a very like emotional eater and so when I was really struggling with my anxiety and my depression, I would just eat food. 2024 has been an abs has been a huge, huge change for me. Uh, I started a full-time job, and because of that, I've had to create a strict schedule within my life, which means I am waking up at 5 a.m. every day and I'm going to the gym. And I've created that habit, which I'm so proud of myself. Little by little, I've been developing these new healthy habits and seeing results mentally. Um, but I know I need to be serious in different aspects so that my confidence and my body reflects the work that I've been putting in. And so that is why I have decided to embark on a 60 day hard hot girl challenge. You've seen it all over social media, I'm sure. You've got 75 hard, 75 soft. One of my favorite YouTubers, she did a 50 hard. Um, and then there's like hot girl summer, hot girl winter all of these different fitness challenges and what I love about all of these different challenges is everybody is tweaking them slightly to fit their lifestyle and I really do think that that is the best way to be successful. I have tried the 75 hard, I have tried the 75 soft multiple times and what I don't like about those challenges is if you mess up one thing, it's over. You have to completely restart. And I get that part of the challenge, but I also know for me, the all or nothing mentality will send me spiraling. If I mess up, I will be like, well, I messed up. I might as well like go completely overboard and ruin my entire week and start again on Monday. So this challenge, I want to document it. 
weekly vlogs. I'm going to go through the kind of parameters that I've set for myself, but this is a journey and it's not going to end at the 60 day mark. And there's going to be a lot of trial and errors and figuring out things that work for me and things that don't. Just like going to the gym at 5 a.m. every morning. I didn't start just going to the gym at 5 a.m. I tried the evening workouts. I tried getting up and working out at home. Uh, I tried so many things until I got into the habit of the 5 a.m. and now that is my life. Let's start off with the easy stuff and that is my workouts. I plan to do a 45 minute workout every single day with one rest day. With that being said, I am going to listen to my body. If I need to take time off for any reason, take the day off, I will. I don't foresee that happening very often because I now feel this need to go to the gym. But again, I'm gonna listen to my body. Some days that might just mean a 45 minute walk with the dogs outside. That's fine. That counts. And it, it really is just overall me being my most active self. I work a nine to five. I sit in an office at a desk. It's not easy. But along with that 45 minute workout every day, I want to aim for eight to 10,000 steps a day. 10,000 steps you've heard is that magic number. What I've noticed is that 8,000 seems to be that realistic number for me when I'm working. Sometimes I finish my nine to five and I go to my other office and I do more work or I come home and I do my other side job. Yes, I have like three jobs going on right now. Um, your girl's really trying to get herself financially stable, but that 8,000 mark is definitely the realistic one. We'll be aiming for 10,000 steps every single day. Next, let's dive into the nutrition aspect. This is where I really, really struggle. This is my demise. I, I call it eating disorder tendencies. Honestly, I might just have an eating disorder, but I've always really struggled with food. I go through cycles of binging and restricting and I know it's really, really not healthy for me. I try fad diets and they never work. Even if I lose weight, I gain it all right back. And I, I can't seem to get my nutrition under control. I always fall victim to my cravings. And it's definitely the hardest part for me. Nutrition is going to be a trial and error situation for the next 60 days. I'm trying to figure out the things that work best for me. I've tried a meal delivery service, which I enjoyed, but I found that the portion sizes were never enough and it's pricey. I tried Chef's Plate, which was awesome. It really got me cooking at home and getting more and more comfortable in the kitchen. So I really love what that has done, but I'm, I've definitely hit a point where I just want to like make my own things or I don't want to have to cook every single night. And so your portions are literally portioned for that specific meal unless you want to pay more and get a double size portion so that you have leftovers. So we're trying some meal prep right now. We'll see how that goes. So the other night I meal prepped the shit out of my week. Um, this is what the fridge is looking like. I did three types of meat actually um, Dalton made a fourth meat so we had four proteins three carbs and three veggies prepped and then each day for lunch and dinner I just pull from whatever I feel like um, which is nice because I don't feel like I'm stuck with one meal all week long I get to kind of switch it up depending on how I feel so today we're gonna do a steak salad um, I wasn't totally sure what I wanted to put in this but we've got the steak we've got a salad I'm cutting up some cucumber and then I think I have like a balsamic dressing maybe um, keeping it really really simple I thought about putting some strawberries in, but then I decided to go the cucumber route and I don't have cucumber and strawberries. I don't like too much. 
actually just found some hemp hearts in my pantry so i'm gonna add a little bit of that in there but quinoa if i cooked up some quinoa that would have been bomb I wish I had like a cheese, like a feta. Ooh. Look who had feta in the fridge. Well, my fridge has never stopped, so this is like a miracle. I am bringing a Coke Zero. Something about me is I'm just addicted to pop. It is what it is. And so I'm trying to not just cut everything out all at once. I'm just trying to make slightly better choices. So we're doing the Coke Zero so I can still get some caffeine during the day because I don't drink coffee or tea, PBS. So this is the better option for me. I'm just headed to work, but I whipped up myself a smoothie for breakfast. Um, it is chocolate protein powder, bananas, spinach, frozen avocado and flax seeds so nice healthy smoothie now this challenge is not just about weight loss or physical aesthetics for me it really is about continuing to improve my mental health and that means doing things for myself just finished my little spa outing courtesy of my bosses and it was amazing this is a fairly new spa it's called SKA or SKA I'm not really sure um, but it was 75 minutes of hydrotherapy so hot pools saunas cold plunge all that kind of stuff and then I had a 60 minute massage and I'm like out of breath but I feel amazing Getting up and going to the gym every morning has been huge for me because it feels like I'm prioritizing myself every single day and when I prioritize myself and I do something for myself at the beginning of the day, I feel more able to fill everybody else's cup. I want to take the time to do what I love to do, like filming and creating content. That's something that I just enjoy and I just do for fun and I don't make time for it. It's been a huge realization for me and it's been a hard journey and I'm still on it. I'm still trying to figure it out. I still have good days and bad days but I just want to I just want to prioritize me. I hope you guys want to come along on this journey with me. Those are my parameters right now. I'll update you as I go where things change but if you yourself or on your own little health and wellness journey. I would love to talk to you about it. I hope that we can create a community that just supports each other in figuring out this life and becoming the best, most confident versions of ourselves. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you very soon, I promise. Bye!